and have a fantastic day ahead let's start with the uh, business correspondence and reporting you guys are the last batch of bcr paper so after this the upcoming batches of foundation are not going to write this paper so you can uh, imagine how privileged you are okay so let's start we will start with the uh, 40 marks of bcr revision today so the whole plan and the manner in which i have prepared my session today is to make sure that you spend the least number of hours for preparation at home or the only time that after this year that you will be opening your pcr for preparation will be during that one day holiday that you have during that one day holiday <coughs> whichever three years three hours you choose that is for pcr and that's also mostly going to be for vocabulary segment practice and not for other segments of pcr okay so you will just allocate three hours of your um, preparation time for pcr after this which will be during that one day break that you get in between is that clear everybody so with that in mind please start focusing on the session so it is 40 marks of syllabus everybody please go to the index page of the notebook and those who aren't from bharatwaj you can also take the help of their uh, notebooks go to the index page of the notebook everyone so going to the index page of the notebook if you look at it uh, we have 13 chapters in bcr 13 minus 1 which i have already said which is your chapter number 6 which is the introduction or the basics to writing all right that chapter is not something that they test on the examination on the theoretical side of it so that we can skip it so adu kade adu exam right adu thavara da syllabus so considering that if you notice we have 12 papers 12 12 topics totally so what i am planning to do is instead of you know walking you through each and every one one by one i am going to go by mark allocation right now so the idea is not to help you improve on your english or improve on your writing skills or to improve your vocabulary that's not possible if the given set of 3 hours or 4 hours time uh, that should have been done from kindergarten so we let's not work towards improving our language or vocabulary let's work towards cracking the maximum marks we could in that 40 marks right now okay that should be the objective right now ipodiku adha mattu focus pannalam all right so how are we going to focus on that i have already shared two materials with you i am sure you guys will have that that is the whole content for bcr that's all that for that only is the content there is nothing more than that beyond that material there is nothing i have shared already one additional material on bcr today which i have topped up in the whatsapp group i will try my level best to get you a copy of this as a print out also it's a four page document printed on two sides i'll try to get this for you this is the collection of the latest set of questions from the recent question papers on bcr from chapter number 1 okay so what i am planning to do is i want you to be aware that bcr paper on a whole you can comfortably crack 20 marks in a rapid speed okay because i am under the impression you will complete law paper and then only come to bcr paper so that is the right strategy also so you have to complete the 60 marks of law fully and then only step into bcr paper and by that time you step into bcr paper you should feel relaxed and you should not feel stressed to complete the paper please keep that point in mind is it clear everybody do not have the pressure of completing that 40 marks appa da mark korachiru one student uh, i don't know if she is attending the session today from the previous batch she sent her answer paper to me and asked me to evaluate and say why she has been losing marks on bcr because i could see the pressure in the presentation in that paper presentation is what they are looking at in my paper okay because they want to know how well you are approaching the paper that's what they are trying to look at from a bcr paper and uh, i think time pressure illa loss area pannala endra bayama enna theriyala i could see a lot of pressure in answering that is the reason they have been consistently reducing marks in all areas where there are potentially no scope for reducing marks at all reading comprehension la la mark korach vechirukam so that's where i feel that and the பாத் எழுதும் போதே மிஸ்டேக் வர கூடாது இல்ல பாராகிராஃப் இஸ் ஆல்ரெடி தேர் फ्रॉम दैट यू आर पिकिंग अप द आंसर एंड राइटिंग यू कैन नॉट मेक अ मिस्टेक इज इट एवरीबॉडी दैट इज वेरी फूलिश ऑफ अस राइट सो दैट 20 मार्क्स इज द फास्टेस्ट मार्क यू कैन गेट इन पीसीआर व्हिच ऑफ द चैप्टर्स आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू गेट दैट वन चैप्टर नंबर 1 ओके 10 मार्क्स सॉलिड यू कैन गेट फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 1 सो दिस इज द फास्टेस्ट 10 दैट यू कैन गेट 
So for the question in your mind, ma'am, it's going to be direct theory question. Do you think they will give full marks? Kurtuwa. Eight solra. Unnala he used to ask five five marks question from this. Five marks question, two questions for ten marks he used to ask. But now what he has done is institute has now broken this into five questions of two marks each. Okay. So it's all two two marks question. So all he is expecting you to write is one line, one more line. That's all he is expecting you to write. That two line, three line. If you write all three sensible lines, there is no scope for mark reduction at all. Mark by words. Okay. So ten marks. Repeating it. Five marks. Okay. Sorry, five questions. Two marks each. Ten marks you will get from communication. Okay. Ah. This is why you can get ten marks. Okay. And then moving further, the next thing where you can crack the next fastest five marks is from your comprehension passage. The next fastest five is going to be from comprehension passage. Clear, everybody? And then the next fastest five is going to be from note making. <coughs> is going to be from note making. Okay. So usually, look at the latest question paper, everybody. Let us take that for the sample, the June 2023 question paper, because you guys are the guinea pigs of the December 23. So let's look at the June 23 sample. All right. Look at the fastest five that you can get. The first fastest five that you can earn is the reading comprehension. Mind a complete a day, law in the ease out, pani relaxed a kundu andhite. In the passage a pani, chinnna mistake kuda panna da, avasra panna da. Ignore the conjunctions and all that. And just keep reading it. You are allowed to underline in the question paper, and then straight away attack the question. First, always the rule is read the question first, and then read the passage. Is the rule clear to you? I am repeating it. Question first, passage next. Because the moment you read the question, your mind is automatically tuned to look for the answers for those questions when you read it. Clear, everybody? One more example, Bakla Maran. Give me. What is air pollutant? Question first, you check it. If a passage is are meaning, now read the passage. Air pollution is an issue which concerns us all alike. Air pollutant is defined as no arbitrary ground, so your mind will automatically tune to mark this. From here to here is the answer for what is air pollutant. Did you understand what I am saying, everybody? So when you read the question, your mind is automatically tuned to hunt for the answers when you read the paragraph. That's why I am calling it fastest five marks. Okay, it is fastest five. Fastest to accurate five marks. Okay, इधर लांच कांच वांगी आ गए ना। This is so 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 critical for us because every single mark you get in BCR, आद BCR के तेवल ना, आना हम लोग aggregate के तेवल। Clear? नहीं आदत आ माइंड लग चुका ना। एंगिया ना, in case, worst case scenario, something goes here and there in your grants paper or something goes here and there in your uh, echo or in your accounts. Then imagine the savior is going to be papers like BCR. Okay, I will tell you the objective. I am not a core BCR person. My my core area is law only. So I have only been teaching law all through BCR. I am doing it purely out of passion. So my objective behind teaching B BCR is to help you get the score that you need for aggregate. That's all. That's all is my objective. Okay. So if you get thirty, then I am successful. That's all. So let's work towards that. So that every single mark you get here is very very critical. Fastest five is important. Read the question. Read the paragraph. You will get the answer. The second thing I told you is the note making part. That's also another fastest five. So I am going to work towards how to get five marks in this note making part. Okay? That paragraph wise customize pani enala soli taramudi adu. That you should do. You should do a lot of paragraphs as practice, and you will get it. And the three hours four hundred more. Okay? But what I will do is whatever be the paragraph template, how should it look like? That I will train your minds today. Clear, everybody? So, for a template for note making, how do you do? That template I will make you practice it today. Okay? Irrespective of what you blabber inside that, you blabber any movie story or whatsoever, I don't mind. But the template should be a uniform template. When I am talking about a template, everybody, and the alignment, you should have a perfect color. Like for example, if I am putting Roman letter one, okay? The heading is going to be air pollution. Okay, and then below that subheading A, subheading B. Now align one more part. Do you see my alignment, everybody? I'm intending a bit and aligning it, right? Like this, this whole presentation part of note making, I'm going to work with you. This is what they are expecting for this three marks. Do you see it? Notes, headings, subheadings, abbreviations, wherever necessary. Just this for this three marks, we will work towards it. 
what is the summary part whatever is the paragraph you are getting here just put it in passive voice in a brief manner in not more than 3 4 lines that's all for that they you give the you get the two marks they don't read the content much they just look at the brevity okay so the more the brief it is the easier for you to get the two marks so this is also another fastest five clear everybody and then you will get a question mostly on <coughs> sometimes you get a question on the prose writing but that's totally optional so we can't de depend on prose writing and go but note making and reading comprehension so five here five there and 10 marks spread across the question paper which is from your chapter number 1 all of this is going to be a 20 marks of bcr is it clear everybody can we now once again make a note of it what are all going to be in our fastest to 20 marks race 10 marks of questions from chapter number 1 which is going to be இப்ப நான் பார்த்த ட்ரெண்ட் வரைக்கும் இந்த இதை நீ பிலீவ் பண்ணணும்ங்கிறதுக்காக தான் இந்த ஹேண்ட் அவுட்டை கொடுத்துருக்கேன் ஓகே ஸோ யூ ஷுட் கெட் அன் ஐடியா ஸோ டு நாட் நான் ஆல்ரெடி ரிவிஷன் மெட்டீரியல் கொடுத்துருக்கேன் யூ ஆல் ஹேவ் தட் ரைட் ஹவு மெனி ஆஃப் யூ ஹேவ் த ரிவிஷன் மெட்டீரியல் வித் யூ ஹாவ் யூ எவர் ஓப்பன் தட் மெட்டீரியல் ஆர் நாட் ஹாவ் யூ எவர் சீன் திஸ் மெட்டீரியல் டிட் யூ கைஸ் கெட் அ பிரிண்ட் அவுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் கைஸ் Yes, yes, yeah, you have to say yes or no. So this material, I am sure you guys will have. You will see the bottom footnote of this material will read. It was last updated in November 2022. Okay, so up to November 2022, whatever was required from all the RTPs and question papers, I have given it, given it here. So that is an update document. I have given it here. Okay, what is what has changed here? Pattern la periya change illa. The only change that they have made to the pattern is look at it. mostly idhila ni paathena in this if you notice i mean <coughs> in this if you notice what he has been doing is in chapter number 1 mostly he has been asking five mark question before ipo ad ellathiyume all of this where we look at it, 20 may 20 la there were only two questions five marks each 10 marks like that but ipo off late if you pick up june 2023 look at it 1 2 3 4 5 five questions of two marks each is asking this is the only change in pattern he has done that's why i have given shared the update document so 10 marks so five questions of two marks each clear everybody <coughs> this we should be ready to face it the next fastest to five is going to be on reading comprehension remember the tips i told you first you will read the questions first and then and then passage next that's the rule questions first passage next Similarly, the next fastest question that you can next fastest five that you can make in your BCR paper is note making question. And in this first, it should be the template, and then you will read the passage. So, on the template, modla unora notebook la clearan ni po to chinder kono. Iblo headings minimum three headings. You should main headings. You should give under every three main headings. You should write minimum four points. This is standard rule. more than that if you want to add on it totally depends on the passage and your creativity and your patience level at that time mark ku enna venumo adu modala pannidalam three main headings under each main heading we should make five five points is that clear everybody i am repeating it three main headings under each heading you will make a, at least one or two subheadings and you will make five five points under each of them this is this is standard template for mark this is required ma'am why do you say it is so specifically that you are very particular that it is going to be just this ena inga par avanoda template adha vechi solren naan invariably look at it the art of effectless effective listening is the topic he has given effective listening depends on 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 no, 2 3 4 so four bullets he is giving invariably okay very rarely he is making sub bullets two to three main headings is mandatory for you to score that three marks clear everybody after that whatever you blabber in the form of the passage is not bothered guys you just blabber anything but it has to be in past tense it has to be as brief as possible that's all he is requiring okay idhukku enna la pannanonu we will come and look up look back at it okay so now do you remember the main rule of thumb fastest to 20 is going to be in these areas only any questions up to this these three are the areas you should not compromise how do i not compromise with my preparation idhukku vera valiye illa we should prepare padikinu chapter 1 nikku namba padike porom we are going to prepare and the 3 hours time la 1 hour chapter 1 nikke okay clear everybody 1 hour is going to be for chapter 1 ma'am where am i going to prepare this chapter 1 from edhil endume padikada just read from whatever i have given you just read from the material i have given you just read from this material i have that i am going to share as a soft copy i have shared a soft copy of and then read the primary material which i have already shared with you 
both of these all the questions on chapter 1 you should have read it thread back if you do that this 20 marks is good this 10 marks is going to be a cake block clear everybody now let's talk about the next roman letter the next roman letter it is going to be medium paced okay it is medium paced 10 marks medium paced 10 marks in bcr why am i calling it medium paced 10 marks in bcr vocabulary that's the problem Okay, either individual order caliber of It is totally dependent on every individual standard of preparation. Clear everybody? Not just individual standard of preparation, individual's luck factor of that day. And the three hours la Avam Kutra word strike. Okay? So what is that he is covering here? You might wonder that I didn't cover the simple compound complex. I don't like wasting time on simple compound and complex because those are things that you have been learning in your school grammar in English 11th standard, 12th standard, 8th, 9th standard, right? And the simple compound complex is important. I'm not even writing it, okay? One is your uh, meanings and opposites. In other words, your synonyms and antonyms. However you want it, you call it. Meanings and opposites. This is purely the luck of the day. So, we can't spend too much energy on this. But for this also, I have prepared a dump. My dump is here, okay? I already told you guys that this dump is very very important dump. If you just read this, it is more than sufficient. In the dump, So if you have the time and if you have the patience, I think you should definitely do this. Because in the dump, so you know where the questions are coming from. So I think you should give it a look. You don't have to memorize and all. Just give it a look. Look at it's like that means lazy. Turbulence, agitation, like that you keep watching it here and there. That is more than sufficient as far as the vocabulary is concerned. Okay? But, do they ask questions from connotations, collocations, from phrasal verbs, from uh, prefix suffix, from root words? Those are things that I taught you so that you incorporate the knowledge you got from them in your article writing and in your report writing and in your resume writing. Okay? But they don't test you with one more questions on vocabulary. Clear everybody? But they will test you on idioms and phrases. This is also an area where I am seeing potential chances of you getting full marks. Clear everybody? Clear everybody? Let's now check out how many marks of idioms and phrases have they asked in our June 23 examination. Okay? <coughs> Invariably, they ask you three more questions. So, again, synonyms. Yeah. It's a total of three marks. So, idioms and phrases is going to be for three marks. Okay. And then your synonyms and antonyms is also going to be invariably be for three to four marks. So, seven marks here. Okay. And then they will ask you one active to passive. I don't think that should be a difficulty and that should be for another two marks two to three marks maybe okay this is the breakup everyone is that clear i am repeating it so the breakup is going to be meanings and opposites of three marks and then your idioms and phrases of three marks and then your active to passive for three marks mostly students will crack this mostly they will crack this they don't have any hardship here even if you are badly prepared, you cannot afford to lose this three marks, idioms and phrases, because we have done nearly 100 idioms in classes. Okay? So many illustrations we have discussed in the classes. So many illustrations we have done in the form of MCQs. So this you cannot miss out at all. If you just do the dump, that's more than sufficient for you to complete the idioms and phrases part. Okay? This dump. Do the dump, idioms and phrases, three marks, put it into your pocket. You should not take a lot of time. That's why I'm calling it medium faced. But if you are very fast at it, then that's good for you. Okay? The last one is the slow paced marks. How much marks is left for us now? 10. Yes. The ten slow paced mark. 10 in BCR. What are the topics they have been asking in the slow paced 10? A letter or an email will come under this category. An article or a report will also come under this category. Okay? An agenda. Agenda is or a resume will also come under this category. Clear everybody? Question paper. Paper over. That's all. 
okay that's all is my paper so this will come in your slow paced time the only place where you can take time to think and write in bcr paper is in the 10 marks da in the motta 40 marks ime ukkandu na saavasama yosichu eduvendra plan oda pogada appo da unakku time short adikum clear everybody so you will go fully prepared for this 10 uh, i mean sorry this whole of this 20 marks and this 10 marks for the 30 marks of bcr it has to go in jet speed only for this 10 marks you can pace down a bit clear everybody is the rule clear so that's how time management is going to be idellam provided me effectively you are completing <coughs> law paper in the scheduled time okay so just take make sure that you complete law paper as quick as possible and then you come back to this is that clear everybody any questions any questions any questions up to this is the is the pattern of the question paper clear to you all okay so now let me repeat it once again so we are dividing our papers preparation standards i mean writing standards and preparation standards in three phases one is the fastest 20 week that we can get in the exam the next one is the medium 10 which is little bit of thinking and writing and the last one is a lot of thinking and writing okay so that's going to be for 10 marks so totally three of them okay clear everybody so this is how we are going to pace it out let me start my uh, lecture today with the first one because this has got the maximum mark weightage so let me start with that chapter number one clear let's begin let's start chapter number one Chapter number one. What are the kind of questions they are asking us in chapter number one? Let me introduce you to the two mark question segment in this chapter. Okay, I hope the font is clear in the projector. Let me, uh, I think I have zoomed it back. Let me know if it's clear. paper 2 that you have already learned they will ask basic questions and they will just see if you can write two sensible lines for each of the question just two sensible lines wherever required you should draw diagrams and you should be able to explain them clearly now already you have explained in class these are the four areas from which they ask the question one barriers to communication communication network and then what are the types of non-verbal communication process of communication characteristics of effective communication either thandi avan povey maatam it's a promise he has given without writing okay it's a it's a promise it's a deemed promise the institute has made clear everybody it is a deemed promise the institute has made apart from this five topics he will not penetrate into any other topics in this whole thing knowing that we cannot make a mistake clear everybody let's now look into it Look at the first one. Let me start with the different types of network. Adelaide the pola number. Network cover panit varla. What are the network type of questions? What are the different types of communication networks? Let's first start with that, revise that, and then let's go to the other areas. Okay? The different communication networks, I'm sure you will remember this. Do you all remember the different types of communication networks that we saw already? What are the networks? Wheel network, chain network, circle network. Ama. I hope you remember them. And then uh, chain and spoke network. Yes, all of that. So now, these are the areas from which they have been frequently testing. Let's now look at the different types of network question. Vertical network. What is vertical network, everyone? Vertical network. Yes, vertical network. How many people are there in a vertical network? Two. Two. Is a boss and a subordinate. It is one below the other. It's a two-way communication. Instructions will also flow from top to bottom and then feedback will also flow from bottom to top. That is a vertical network. Isn't it? What is a chain network? 
chain network is a pattern of command where each one will have in, have interaction with people of different functionalities and different levels that's a chain network isn't it so it will follow a chain of command so senior to junior and then to one level below so like that it will be a cascading effect that's a chain network we have seen that isn't it so let's now start looking at the question question number 1 the first two mark question that they have asked is it's a very generic question okay let's see if we can make out an answer for this communication does not simply involve so 15 questions na discuss panna pora ipa okay balanced questions niye padike pora today i am discussing 15 questions on chapter number 1 everybody so two two marks of five five five, five questions of three immediate past question papers june 23 and then the prior two attempts clear communication does not simply involve sending of a message by a person அப்படின் கொடுத்துருக்கோம் ஓகே நல்லா லிசன் பண்ணு இதுக்கு நீ ஐடியாலி என்ன தெரியுமா பண்ணிருக்கணும் அவன் ரயண்டம் காக் அண்ட் புல் ஸ்டோரி கொடுத்துருக்கான் அதை நீ விட்டுட்டு நீங்கள் அவன் ஆன்சர் கே படிக்காது கம்யூனிகேஷன் டஸ் நாட் சிம்பிளி இன்வால்வ் சென்டிங் அ மெசேஜ் டு அ பர்சன் மீனிங் யூ ஜஸ்ட் காட் ரேண்டம்லி டெல் சம்திங் வித்வுட் விஜுவலைசிங் வெதர் த அதர் பர்சன் வில் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆர் நாட் ஸோ நீ அப்போ எதை பற்றி எழுதினா சென்சிபிளாக இருக்கும் யூ கேன் ரைட் அபவுட் ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் கம்யூனிகேஷன் ரிமெம்பர் தட் ரைட் sending decoding encoding abidla padicha me you remember that or not everybody that is the whole process that you will write about let me show you the decoding process sir. check your notebooks everybody do you remember the process of communication everyone check your notes quickly where is the process of communication notes please check that <coughs> this one look at it center this process sender will send the information and then that message will be encoded by the person receiving it when it is put into the channel channel may have some disturbances those disturbances are called as barrier receiver will receive it and he must be able to decode the information and share the feedback and put it back to the channel and then give it back to the sender this process you should be able to explain to make them understand why they are making this statement look at the question question oda nature eppadi irukku paar comment on the following statement abhi kuduthirukam usually the expectation of the institute is when the question is comment on the following statement edavadhu rendu line sensible line ezhudinga last line la nee conclude pannumbodhu the given statement is true communication does not simply mean abindrad nee repeat pannum clear everybody it is more like what true or false type of a question okay so first you give the reasoning at the last you either concur to it or you deny the statement clear everybody make a note of it now point number 1 on chapter 1 what's the first type of questions you can expect for the two marks comment type of a question what are these comment type of questions they are nothing but true or false with reason okay first two unoda reasoning kuduthidu last la you mention the given statement this true the given statement is false இப்போ நான் சொன்ன இல்லையா இந்த ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் கம்யூனிகேஷன் அதுதான் அவன் இங்கே எழுதிருக்காம்பார் ஹி வில் சென்ட் அ மெசேஜ் ஒரு அண்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இன் டு அ சேனல் த சேனல் மே ஹேவ் அ ப்ராப் ஹி ஷுட் சூஸ் த அப்ராப்ரியேட் சேனல் இதெல்லாம் பேசியிருக்கான் இதெல்லாம் நீ பேசுறதுக்கு இந்த சார்ட்டை போட்டுட்டு போயிட்டே இருக்கலாம் குட் த சார்ட் அண்ட் ரைட் ஜஸ்ட் ஒன் லைன் கன்க்ளூடிங் அண்ட் வாக் அவுட் கிளியர் ஐ எம் ரிங் கேட் பிக்சர்ஸ் ஆர் அலவ் சார்ட்ஸ் ஆர் அலவ் இல்லஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் அலவ் இன் மை பேப்பர் ஸோ இது பிசிஆர் பேப்பர்ன்றதுனால வள வளன்னு உட்காந்து எழுதி நீயே கிராமரில் சுதப்பி நீயே மாட்டிக்காத ஓகே வேற எவர் பாசிபிள் ட்ரை டு அக்காமடேட்டட் இன் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் டயக்ராம்ஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி ஃபார் சாப்டர் ஒன் அண்ட் சேம் ஓகே ஃபார் ஆல் த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆன் நெட்ஒர்க் ஐ ரெக்கமெண்ட் தட் யூ புட் த சார்ட்ஸ் ப்ளீஸ் புட் த சார்ட்ஸ் ஓகே அந்த ரீல் நெட்ஒர்க் ஸ்போக் நெட்ஒர்க்குலாம் அந்த பொம்மை போட்டு காமிச்சிடு ஒரு வாட்டி இந்த மாதிரி டயக்ராம் ரீல் நெட்ஒர்க் செயின் நெட்ஒர்க் சர்க்கிள் நெட்ஒர்க் ஓகே like this this is for two marks everyone just for writing this next one concreteness Con- concreteness means what you should be able to tell something which has a solid content okay truthful content facts concreteness is an important characteristic feature of effective communication comment which is nothing but do idha and the seven c's of communication irukilla at the one of the c's is concreteness okay do you see it look at it everybody and the seven c's of communication irukku liya at the one of the c's is concreteness concrete content means what solid content i am talking for one and a half hours if i am talking without having any substance or content that's not a concrete communication 
I have come well planned on how to make you score for 40 marks. That's a concrete communication. <coughs> Clear? So, you start pandum odhe enna pandu vay? In the CA vachy enna question a keta adho? This forms one of the essential elements of the seven C's of communication. Idho or mokka point da adho adho point a yehi dhe. Let that be the opening point. Because that point will definitely be right. It won't go wrong. Adho na pasti ni adho yehi dhe. Clear everybody? Of the seven C's, whatever C you see as a question, first point will be this is one of the important elements of the seven C's of communication. Abhi nahi din. Okay? Second point. Dar enna eldu din nahi thiriyil. Concrete na enna nahi thiriyil. Paraval la. Baaki C la enna nahi thiriyul la. Adala eldu. The other C's of communication are so and so. Adala eldu puri. End point will puri eldu. Adhika prama third point ikal dikhe. It has to be tangible. It has to be based on a data. It has to be a proper thought. It has to be abstract. You cannot allow other person to misinterpret. You have to give fine details. You should be able to establish your case. You should not allow argument to the main message. अभी ना उत्तर का। आवन में वाला रहता है वाला रहता है। बात आली उन्हें तेरी होती है बात। ये तो सब्सटेंस रखा है इसलाय। Nothing right? That's why I'm saying. So all he's expecting is what? Error free two sentence. That's all. Okay, two marks for this. Clear everybody? Now the third one. Look at the third question. I already told you. Na sone. Adi le ti da. Okay, kram par question. Na sone liya. Non verbal le ti ke pan. Visual le ti ke tar kam par. He is asking you. What do you mean by visual communication? Very simple. You just have to write about science, typography, graphs, designs, illustrations, colors, electronic communication. PowerPoint is also a visual communication. Chart, pie diagram, cha. All me ni erda. Everything is a visual communication. Okay, any diagrammatic representation is a visual communication. That's all. He has also written random points like you and I, and that's what he wants. Is everyone able to see the answer? How he is presenting it? So it's a straight case question, right? On point number two is a direct descriptive question, and the five Ws and H questions came up: what, where, how, when, and the market. And the market questions are easy to tackle. Comment over there. In the comment type of questions, lana he will give random statement. But in what kind of question? Question will be straight bullseye. Two on two, you can easily hit it. Clear, everyone? Make a note of it. The next one is what? Of the interface kind of questions. Okay. The next question is. Like I told you, standard which is compare, and the all team ticket is near compare, and Anji, and the area, na sonna area da, Anji le no oru oru question get compare. Now he is asking about wheel and spoke network. I hope you see that. Do you? What is a wheel and spoke network? Everybody, one single controlling authority in the center who will give instruction to all the employees. It does not work for a larger organization. Allah ne abar ka I told you, it doesn't work for an organization like Reliance. But Ambani cannot sit in center and pass on information until the security guard. So this will work well only for a smaller organization and the one line ku da mark one mark adukke kudukrom he is giving it see this is only for smaller businesses inappropriate for larger businesses for that one line you get one mark and for the bomme kottana adukku nooru mark poidum baaki ni enna vena ularikkom okay clear everybody i am repeating it again and again for all the types of networks question diagram number 1 and then the main key point is point number 2 Let me tell you the key point for wheel and spoke network. Larger organizations cannot go for wheel and spoke network. Smaller organizations can only go for wheel and spoke network. Why? Because it is one person who is the central character giving instructions to all the employees around, and the leader cannot be doing that in a larger organization. Okay. Dear everybody, are you guys making running notes? Please make running notes, dear. Yeah. Clear. The next one. The next question is barriers. Let's get now. Par, he is sticking all the five five areas I told you. Do you see it? Par, first question he asked you from process. Second question he asked you from types of verbal. Third question he asked you from barrier, and then network, and then he asked you from seven C's also. Patiya, is a pattern. In the pattern, mara me mara. You should just stick to the pattern. Look at it. Emotional barrier in communication. What do you have to study and write about emotional barriers? All of us have emotional barriers. I am asking you several times. Don't yawn. Don't yawn. Obviously, it will become an emotional barrier for you to communicate to me. You will feel low to communicate to me. That's an emotional barrier, isn't it? So you cannot let your emotions come as a barrier when you communicate to the other party. 
what is an emotional barrier being over excited when you talk is an emotional barrier being over shy when you talk is an emotional barrier getting upset for small small things is an emotional barrier not having a cool attitude is an emotional barrier anger management is an emotional barrier mudinj poch two marks that's all clear ma'am idella enak and moment la thonave thonal paravala appo nee enna pannano ஸ்டாண்டர்டாக ஒன்று வச்சுக்கோ வாட் இஸ் மெண்ட் பை கம்யூனிகேஷன் அதுதான் நம்மளோட பிரம்மாஸ்திரா ஃபஸ்ட் யூ யூ ஒன்றுமே ஸ்ட்ரைக் ஆகலன்னு ஜஸ்ட் ரைட் வாட் இஸ் மெண்ட் பை கம்யூனிகேஷன் கம்யூனிகேஷன் இஸ் அ டூ வே ப்ராசஸ் வேர் த சென்டர் என்போர்ட்ஸ் த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அண்ட் த ரிசீவர் டீகோட்ஸ் த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் ஃபஸ்ட் லைன் யூ ரைட் திஸ் ஓகே மேம் தட் டசன்ட் ஆன்சர் திஸ் கொஷின் கரெக்ட் புரியுறது இல்லையா அப்போ இதுக்கு என்ன சூட்டபுளோ அதை வளரு வாட் ஆர் த அதர் பேரியர்ஸ் டு கம்யூனிகேஷன் ரைட் தட் What are the other barriers to communication? You tell me. What are all the other barriers to communication? Barrier. Linguistic barrier, technology barrier, noise is a barrier. Where? Barrier. And then, gender is a barrier. Look at your notebooks and answer the question, everybody. That is, we have class attend. Class book attend. Class book attend. Physical barrier. Ah, physical barrier. That's also another barrier, right? So you can write point number two as different other types of barriers. Okay? Various other types of barriers to communication are. Abhi here the no. And importantly, for a barrier to communication, in the in the in the point of time in the process of communication, where the I don't know. Do you know? Where will the barrier come? Barrier will come when you put the message into the channel. Like for example, I am now talking to you. I am talking to you virtually. So I have already spoken something in my mic, and for it to reach you, it takes a nanosecond. Okay? What is the barrier in between us? The channel in which I am talking is the barrier. What is the channel? Virtual medium is the channel. What is the virtual medium I am using? Technology. So technology is the barrier. Purujda. So barrier. Enga in the face of communication la varde. Channel in the face la barrier. Did you understand everybody? This is also a basic point you can write for any type of a barrier question. This is what you actually note. Now I am going to say all the revision notes. If you are going to mark the info, you are going to mark the info. If you are going to mark the info, you are going to mark the info. You are going to attend the chapter 1 class. Okay? 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 So what are the five questions? Can you all summarize and tell me? What are the five topics from which he is asking you question? One, process. Two, seven C's of communication. Three, types of communication. Four, barriers to communication. Five, network of communication. Is that clear everybody? Is that clear everybody? How many types of network do we have? Check, check and tell me. How many networks do we have? Five. 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 Five types of networks we have. Five la permutation combination da. Namak. So go na wati wheel and spoke keta chhe. Orna kade ya da. But na chhika da. Tripi tripi kura same question kepa. C A la there is no concept of question asked in the previous attempt will not be repeated in the next attempt concept. Take kade ya. Back to back also they can ask same question. Very simple. Discharge of contract question is very important. போன பேட்ச் மட்டும் இம்பார்ட்டண்டா அந்த டாபிக்கே இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் தான் ஸோ எல்லா பேட்சுக்கும் தானே தெரிஞ்சிருக்கணும் அந்த கொஸ்டின் ஸோ தேவில் ஆஸ்ட் த கொஸ்டின் அகைன் அண்ட் அகைன் ஸோ இட்ஸ் லைக் தட் ஓகே கிளியர் எவ்ரிபடி கேன் ஐ மூவ் ஆன் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் செட் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஸோ இது ஒரு மாதிரி உனக்கு மேனேஜ் பண்ண தெரிஞ்சிருத்துல இப்போ அடுத்த கொஸ்டின் பேப்பரில் காமிக்கிறேன் நவ் யூ வில் ஹேவ் அ லிட்டில் பிட் ஆஃப் அ கம்ஃபர்ட் இங்கே பார் திஸ் இஸ் ஃப்ரம் அவர் நவம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் அதே ஸ்டைல் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டனிங் தான் ஃபைவ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் சாப்டர் ஒன் டூ மார்க்ஸ் ஈச் எல்லாமே டூ டூ சென்சிபிள் லைன்ஸ் தான் நம்ம எழுத போகிறோம் ஓகே லெட்ஸ் லுக் அட் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் ஒன் Now looking at the question, you should tell me from which main topic they have asked this. Courteousness is important characteristic of effective communication. Courteousness means what? Pace mul konja mal tanmiya pace. That is courteousness. Being a little bit polite and being a little bit nice is what is called as courteousness. Meaning a little bit respectful of the other person's emotions is courteousness. That's all. What is this picked up from? Seven C's. Seven C's. Seven C's. So, inge ni karthiya sna spati ani kundi me solle vanda. Rent basic point solle pakla sensible point. It is one of the seven C's. First, you will write about what? First, you will say what? What is communication? First, you write what is communication. That's the safe bet. Okay. 
ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் யூ வில் ரைட் இஸ் வாட் வாட் இஸ் கம்யூனிகேஷன் எந்த ரிஸ்க்கும் எடுத்து தொலைச்சிடாத ஓகே ஏன்னா அந்த மினிட்ல நம்ம மைண்ட் செட் எப்படி இருக்கும்னு தெரியாது தேர்ட் இயர்ஸ் நெஸ்க்கு அர்த்தம் மறந்து போயிடும் அதனால எந்த ரிஸ்க்கும் எடுக்காது வாட் இஸ் பண்ணி கம்யூனிகேஷன்லேயே ஆரம்பி ஓகே வாட் இஸ் த செகண்ட் பாயிண்ட் யூ வில் ரைட் கிடையாது <laughs> you should write it as clarity clear everybody those six points should be in your fingertips i repeat it correctness completeness concreteness conciseness coherentness courteousness and clarity these are the seven c's of communication okay aap din ezhudu then what is meant by courtesy aap din one line ezhudu that is more than sufficient so courtesy is what not just sounding things negative kavala padada nee padikkamaye ponaalum bcr la 30 mark nu sonna that is courtesy correct ah right that's what is courtesy right that's all is required for communication okay two marks done let's go to the next question how attitude barrier affects communication in the organization what is this question from which is the main topic so what are the first two basic points you are going to write for this what is meant by communication stick on to that don't just change the pattern okay question enna va vena irukla ana namba answer ore answer ah da irukanum clear second point what's the second point other barriers other barriers, other barriers. Other barriers to communication one more third point i told you what is the third point you can add for any question on barriers correct and the process barrier. of communication at what stage you will face a barrier in a process of communication bar people will encounter i mean the parties communicating will encounter a barrier in the channel of communication abdin eludra clear everybody so three points what is communication what are the other barriers to communication at what point of time you will face a barrier and then talk about what is an attitude barrier what is an attitude barrier i am asking you a very simple question guys am i audible abhi you can put hands on the chair guys is my screen clear அதுக்கு இப்படி தான் உட்காந்துட்டு இவங்க இதே கொஸ்டினே திருப்பி திருப்பி கேட்டுட்டு இருப்பாங்க இதே கொஸ்டினுக்கே பதில் எப்போ எத்தனை வாட்டி சொல்கிறதுன்னு உட்காந்தா தட்ஸ் அன் ஆட்டிடியூட் பேரியர் கிளியர் எவ்ரிபடி வாட் இஸ் த பாயிண்ட் திருப்பி திருப்பி நம்மளுக்காக தானே கேட்குறாங்க எஸ் மேம் ஆடிபுள்னு சொன்னால் என்ன ஆகிட போகிறோம் அப்படின்னு சொன்னால் தட் இஸ் வேர் யூ கெட் ரிட் ஆஃப் யுர் ஆட்டிடியூட் பேரியர் கிளியர் எவ்ரிபடி யூ கே நாட் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் யுவர் டிஸ்சாட்டிஸ்ஃபேக்ஷன் அட் ஆல் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் டைம் யூ கே நாட் ஆல்வேஸ் டே திஸ் கிரண்டல் ஷை we cannot be an introvert we cannot be an lazy all of these are considered as attitude barriers only a proactive worker kekkaradhukku munadiye bodhu solradhu kudukkaradhukku munadiye vela edukiren solradhu that kind of an attitude is what an organization is looking for that's an attitude problem okay so good management is looking for what kind of staff it's looking for an act for a people for it's looking for the right set of people who are always ready and willing to work and learn that is attitude barriers up and clear that's how we have uh, phrase it that's for two marks clear everybody no diagram required next one the next one is called as aesthetic communication what is this aesthetic communication aesthetic communication venune one confuse padradhukaga kuduthirukan so aesthetic communication is nothing but being very creative when you communicate okay communication in a very fashionable form so like i am i am putting up i wanted to share a very very uh, what do i say <coughs> i want to express a very controversial view of mine i am scared to express this in the form of words so what do i do i express my thoughts in the form of a meme i express my thoughts in the form of a cartoon i express my thoughts in the form of a calligraphy i, I express my thoughts in the form of an uh, amul i'm sure we all will know i have already shared this in the classroom we all have seen the picture of the amul baby right every day in indian express if you open the paper on the right top corner amul baby will come up with a current update india is playing world cup and amul baby will come up with a current update amul will actually be sarcastic about whatever is the current update okay sometimes it will be very appreciative like that of matters like chandrayaan sometimes it will be very criticizing also but அது கிரிட்டிசைஸ் பண்ணுதா அப்ரிஷியேட் பண்ணுதா அப்படிங்கிறதே நமக்கு தெரியாத மாதிரி தட் இஸ் வித்வுட் ஹர்ட்டிங் த சென்டிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பர்சன் ஹூ இஸ் ரிசீவிங் இட் தே வில் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் இட் இன் அ வெரி கிரியேட்டிவ் ஃபார்ம் தட் டைப் ஆஃப் அ கம்யூனிகேஷன் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் ஏஸ்தட்டிக் கம்யூனிகேஷன் 
sharing our communication through forms such as dance, music, sculptures is called as aesthetic communication. I am showing, I am telling whatever you want to, but I am telling it in a very creative form. That is aesthetic communication. So, this is what you want to do. Safe bet is what you want to do. Aesthetic is not meaning. If you want to do it, you can still have the chance of getting a grace mark here. Okay? If you want to do it, you should strike. That's exactly what I always tell for law paper also. But for BCR also, I will tell the same. Without putting effort, don't say, I, I didn't even get grace marks. Did you put effort for the grace marks? If you put effort, the examiner will feel the effort that you put. And you should make him feel the effort. Question is about dog. You cannot blabber about a bull. You should blabber something about dog. Although you don't know anything about bull dog, just blabber about some random dog. At least he appreciates the effort. You get what I'm saying, everybody? Make the examiner appreciate the effort. So how will you make the first two points? Come on, tell me. What is communication? Very safe bet. What is the second point you will write? Other types of communication. Other types of communication. Look at a picture. Look at a picture. Put a picture like this. Okay? Let's not write anything. So let's put up a picture. Different types of communication. Okay? Verbal communication. Non-verbal communication. No textbook or pictures. On the picture, you can put it. You can put it on a picture. Different types of communication. Verbal, non-verbal, visual. And then in that, we have two styles. Which is formal and informal. That's it. This is the same. So, aesthetic communication will come under what? Aesthetic communication will come under what? Aesthetic communication will come under what? But we can say that aesthetic communication will come under non-verbal. Clear everybody? It will come under non-verbal communication. That's it. That's all. Does it make sense everybody? Any questions? Any questions? Next one. Explain any two types of formal communication. I am repeating it. Explain any two types of formal communication. Okay? You can talk about vertical. <coughs> Network is basically formal communication. Na. Vertical communication is top to bottom, bottom to up. Horizontal is across different levels. <coughs> Diagonal is against... Peers, right? So you can write any of those. Edad moon type of communication network on a mention manasolra. All of that you can write. Even wheel and spoke you can write. That's also allowed. Any of those you can write. Any three types of networks you can write. That's why he's saying any types of formal communication. Type of formal communication na bind the other communication network lay the other law formal the tone to other lani other. Okay, don't be scared looking at the different uh, way of phrasing of the question. It is once again from the same window only. That's why you can't fix your mind. That's why you can't fix your mind. Okay? So, you can't fix your mind. You can't fix your mind. No question can go beyond this five points. Okay? So, it's about chain, wheel, and then uh, just circle that. Right? Any of those. That is about your two marks. Put picture. He has not put picture, but you put picture. Okay? Any two is enough. If he has two, he has two. Just stick to two. What he is asking only, you should give. Don't give anything more. Clear everybody? Now, in case, ma'am, types of formal you get it now. Network is a word and name. That's why I have a network. I have a network. What you would have done? Tell me. What are the points with which you would have put up the answer? Once again, you will write. What is communication? What is meant by communication? What? Point number two, you can write about types of communication. Clear everybody? You would have written about types of communication. Verbal, non-verbal and then the third one. What is that? Visual. Yeah, that one. So you will write about the different types of communication and then make that a point. Okay? Verbal, non-verbal, visual. Make that the point. And then you write about verbal communication. Can I mean formal communication can be verbal or non-verbal also. And then you put that down in the form of... Uh, no, no, that will itself help you get the grace marks in case you are not able to guess. But now that you know, you should be able to guess. Okay? That's all. Now the next one, Parag. What do you mean by grey point communication? I already spoke to you about it. Anybody can talk to anybody. So, CEO can talk to the security. Security can talk to the manager. Manager can talk to the vice president. Anyone can talk to anyone. This is basically a grey point communication. It's a cluster network or a completely chaotic network anyone can talk to anyone what will you in net in terms of network 
local network and tell me. Informal. Informal network. Correct. Informal communication. This is the fastest method of communication. And then just write two lines about it. Once again, make sure you start the answer from what is communication, what are the types of communication, and then come to grade point communication. Okay? Don't skip the ladder. Go by the ladder. Ma'am, all of you know what is communication, what is communication, and now I'm going to put it in the chance of coming. You know, it's a hundred mark paper. Now, when I get a chapter one question, see, or a little group of people. But now, you know, you know, question paper, let me spread it. This is a June 23 question paper, everybody. Look at it. I'll show you how it is spread across the paper. Oh, man, I'm going to put it in the first place. I'll show you how it is spread across the paper. Oh, man, I'm going to put it in the first place. I'll show you how it is spread across the paper. Okay? So, let's look at it. So this is question number one. So you're reading comprehension. Please stick with the question paper format. Okay? Don't make cheap techniques of answering the Derringer questions first. There are the questions next to other school type of strategy. Go with the pattern of the question paper. Okay? Ava empty kutrikana opne poid. Aina Adani Panama Ava treasure hunt panna with the rich book. He will become very irritated. Ava mark and the pattern of the skip pile. He will not like to do that. Okay? Imagine practical difficulty in what a key cut part of the letter for funny money. He's having your notebook like this. Front page is the scoring page. And then in between he's correcting. Question 7 the start of the BCR. You are starting with question number 9. And then you are writing question number 9 to pay on grade 1. 7 is 1. Answer key you page is 1. He has to do multitasking. Don't make him do multitasking. Make his life very very simple. Help him to correct your paper quickly. So follow the pattern of question paper. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Where is the question? First question. Look at it. Question number 8 ले subdivision ये और two mark बच्चर को chapter one ले आधे कपरम पार और eight ले वैर दोला केंद्र को nine ले first question nine ये ले और two mark बच्चर को बतिया and then question number ten ten ले ये बार two mark बच्चर को बतिया and then question number eleven आधे लोग उनको मार देते हैं, पति या, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve लोग उनके नाने के नहीं ले, B C R ला, I think B C R has a twelve marks on front page, इन्हें उनको मार साइन के ओवर करें, so totally he will ask for ten marks, so like this it is spread across the question paper in different different areas, so it's okay, you can still manage writing the same thing, okay, unless you have a solid point, right? Next one. Clear up to this. Let's try May 2022 question paper, everybody. The last set of five questions for chapter number one, everyone. Let's look at it. Figure out from which topic they are asking this. This question is for you, Dheeraj. A well-dressed and groomed person is presumed to be organized and method methodical. Whereas a sloppy and shabby person fails to make a favorable impression. Under which of the five categories would you put this? This is for two marks. It's a comment type of a question. I want to consult for another one more than the class. It's what kind of communication? Non-verbal. It's non-verbal? This one. Body language. Body language. Agreed. So, under which of the main topics would you put this question? Number five topics which you put this question. Usually, question came on. So, in which topic would you put this? Under? Types of non-local communication. Okay. Under types of non-local communication. What is the science of body language called as? Appearance. Oh, appearance is a subdivision. Barriers. I don't know. Body? Body language. I don't know. Check. I think it also comes under the aesthetics and stuff, maybe. The kindness is the art of body language. Body movement and body actions, handshakes, winking of eyes, nodding of head, and all is kindnesses. Agreed. It can, you can put it under non-verbal. Okay? So, given the statement, uh, and the shabby person fails to make a favorable impression, the given statement is true. Okay? Appearances are, while there is a very famous saying that appearances are deceptive, 
in a formal communication appearances does make a significant role in creating a good impression on the other person abin army you talk about a non verbal communication for a little bit and then you talk about okay next one the next question is chain network in communication okay the next one is chain network in communication i already told you about chain network so from the tco ceo will give command to the next person and then again the command will flow down one below the other it's a ladder of communication it's called as a cascading effect on the word irukku no one's notebook la what is a cascading effect like a waterfall it will fall one by one one below the other so like for example if the board of the company is declaring dividend board of directors tells the senior management that we are declaring 10% dividend senior management e poi and the dividend ellar weekly kuduthuruvara illa illa he will in turn tell the finance department finance department head will tell the accounts manager accounts manager will in turn tell his accounting employees and then they will do the banking job of crediting the money to the investors so the information gets cascaded one below the other with the example with the diagram with the usual two points that you write you will submit up okay two marks so keep the sentences very very brief okay so need two points eludrena two bullets potru adu nee kanja thanave pannada it will take less than a minute for you to do it okay so chapter 1 question na first you write about like this i am putting bullet but you will not put bullets you will number it like this put subdivision like this first write what is communication ena ellame point ku da mark so you put point count and show them two marks i wrote four points so update two marks kuduthirun connect kamichirunga neenga clear everybody so you wrote what is communication you wrote what are the types of communication and then you put a picture for the network and then explain the network like this four points so it has to be numbered i am repeating it it has to be numbered avoid bullets bullets na simple based bullets avoid bullets. avoid simple bullets okay ye yeah, simple bullet poda kodadhu puriyirudilla count ku dhaan avanukku theriyano nee ivlo point ezhudirkena clear everybody do not put this bullets don't put rangoli in my paper it's not allowed clear the arrow mark podradha adala pannada don't do that put bullets put number bullets either lower case alpha or lower case roman numeral you should put it with brackets like this clearly clear everybody for all question on chapter number 1 this is the rule of presentation okay idile indha maarave maaradha nee idu idu apdi blind ah follow pannidu adu mark varala na na enna kai ledi question inter la seethu na inter la law la vaangidha okay now let's move now let's move next question the next question we are going to do is how technology barrier affects communication now what is the stereotyping answer that we are going to give let's try to try to write this in the form of bullets everybody what is the first point you will write down here technology barrier now question what is communication edited then what will you write about it other barriers other barriers to communication and then when will barriers come in picture through the challenge and the process yaarukla indha point eludha lazy ah irko draw the picture for process adile you highlight the barrier in the challenge okay adha mattum nee or box ku le potu dabba potu you beautify it and show it that is sufficient and then now stick to what is meant by technology barrier and show why technology is a barrier today it is the order of today technology is the order of the day no there's no more debates like whether technology is a boon or a bane adala pesa mudiyadhu technology is a boon da okay we are now in an era where we, we should stop discussing about is over usage of technology a hazard should we not be using too much of adala pesa mudiyadhu now we are interacting through virtual communication only so ignorance of technology today is a barrier to communication okay now we are all looking at the content on the projector everybody in the classroom must be knowing how to use a projector how to get connected how to share screen how to make available a colorful visual communication idella ellarkume therinjirukonum da how we should be knowing how to check emails how to check social updates so lack of knowledge of technology definitely is a barrier avala da answer so so if somebody is not knowing how to make use of all forms of microsoft suit 
Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other applications. Then it is a barrier for them to survive in the industry. That's all technology barrier. Okay? Clear everyone? Next question. Human behavior is not under the control of emotion or deliberation, but results from the interaction of two of these two processes. Explain. Basically, a comment type of a question. Okay? They are talking about what? Emotional portion. Two marks question everybody. Would you be able to answer this question? Emotional barrier question everyone. One more time they are asking you about emotional barrier. So you will write same pattern you will follow and write about emotional barrier. Clear everybody? Two marks for that. So we should be able to do that. Same question only. I am moving on to the next question. Understanding cultural aspects of communication is absolutely necessary. Otherwise, it will become a barrier to communication. What question is it? Tell me. Question is about? Cultural barriers. We have spoken about this. Telling Namaste is a cultural barrier. Giving a hug when you meet a new person is a cultural barrier. Handshake is a cultural barrier. Choice of words is also a cultural barrier. Okay? So, when people of different ethnicity meet and work together in a global platform, Culture becomes a barrier. So, it is very important to embrace each other's culture. Okay? So, that is about cultural barrier. So, religious sentiments and all that. What is a cultural barrier? Even a work life is a cultural barrier. Americans don't take work so seriously like Europeans and Japanese. Whereas, Japanese are workaholics. It is they have long hours of work schedule. All of that is a cultural barrier. Did you understand everybody? For them, work is worship. For Americans, that's not the case. Work is one of the elements of life. Okay? Whereas for Europeans, it is somewhere in between. It is the examples are quote for another class. So you will write about cultural barriers. Two points. Remember those two points I told you. You will start with what is communication, what are the other types of barriers, then write a little bit. Okay? That's all about two mark question. So we have discussed 15 questions across three question papers. Now we are going to check what are the questions they have given under our RTP. That is the RTP which was designed for us. Let's check out that RTP now. What is the RTP? The latest RTP, the December 23 RTP. Look at the question. They have given two questions for you guys. Look at it. What is circuit network in organizations? The revision test paper for December 2023. This is the question I asked you in the mock exam also. What is circuit network? What is a circuit network? You tell me. How is the communication done in a circuit network? It is one to many or many to one. How does it happen? What is a circuit network, guys? Two persons of same hierarchy. Correct. Two persons of? Same hierarchy. Same hierarchy. That is a circuit network. Okay. So the circuit network is what? Colleagues are interacting is a circuit network. I hope you remember this. So between communication between peers is circuit network. Don't forget. Don't get confused with the gray point communication. This is two persons of same hierarchy. That is a circuit network. Two mark question. I know. Car. I think. Well, the other two couldn't make it. As one of them, you are a standard. Then follow. Pardon. What is communication? Types of network. What is circuit? Picture. Four points. That's all. Next one. Communication modes today are primarily technology driven. Yet technology acts as a barrier. Justify. We just discuss this question. Technology barrier is a hot cake for them. They always keep asking this back to back. Okay. That's all. These are the two questions from December 2023. Apart from that. All the other compilations are here. Very nice. That is more than sufficient. One hour you will spend in chapter number one. It's worth it. Ten marks, one hour spend one. Okay? Clear? How much ever you spend money, that much, that much only the quality would be. Same with marks. Number of hours of preparation up to will get converted into marks. Okay? With that, we'll take a short break for five minutes. And post break, we are going to discuss the other two fastest ten mark questions. So we have, you can now immediately put 10 marks into your pocket and get out for break and come back for the other 10 marks. Good. Remember the rule, read all the five questions in one go.
First one, uh, second para, the era of entertainment aids powered by electricity has created a fancy world around us. Okay, and then second question. Uh, for what, the second one, uh, what part of human body controls the power of electricity? Human finger. Human finger. And the phrase. Human finger. Again, they say, oh, yes. no. Human finger. 